Our whole apartment. Look at the. Y'all, I cannot believe this. Come Add flooding to the list of brutal challenges Texans are facing. Guys, um, so this is my house. <laughs> Water pipes are bursting in the frigid conditions, leaving behind a path of destruction. Inside my apartment, the windows started to literally freeze in ice. I could feel the snow come in through my closed door. Crystal Hartman is staying at her boyfriend's house as she's one of the hundreds of thousands still without power. I mean, it's it's frustrating to say the very least and also scary and just to where you get to where it's depressing. Outages have now hit water treatment plants, triggering dozens of boil water advisories. And with some grocery stores running out of essentials, people are lining up for help. I don't think any of us was expecting this and for it to be like this. So it's all about survival right now until it starts getting warm. As Texans struggle, Republican Senator Ted Cruz was photographed heading to Mexico for a vacation, even though days before he pleaded with Texans to hunker down. So don't risk it. Keep keep your, your family safe and ju just stay home and hug your kids. After the posts went viral on social media, Cruz returned home, claiming he was just dropping off his 10 and 12 year old kids. Yesterday, my daughters asked if they could take a trip with some friends and Heidi and I agreed. So I flew down with them last night, uh, dropped them off here and now I'm headed back to Texas. Amid backlash and ridicule, Cruz retreated. Look, it, it, it was obviously a mistake and in hindsight, I, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I was trying to be a dad. Warmer weather arrives in Texas this weekend, though several spots along the U.S. East Coast are bracing for another blast of winter. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.